Hello and welcome to I Can't Believe That Happened, your four kids history podcast on crazy and wild moments that have happened in history that I think I can pretty much guarantee you your history class is not going to be talking about. So this season, I really want to explore my favorite thing ever, which is the circus. I find it really fascinating, and I even wrote a book on the history of the circus, which of course you're welcome to buy at Amazon. Um, I've put links in the show notes, but I wanted to give you some of the episodes or some of the topics that I didn't have space in the book for. So all of these are not found in the book, which means if you want more information, get the book. You can read it there. But today I really, really want to talk about modern acrobatics. And that's one of the things that really always attracted me to the circus was people doing these amazing and crazy things that are so far beyond what you would think the body and gravity should be able to accomplish. And from what we've been able to find out through even cave drawings is that modern acrobatics, and it's funny to put the word modern in here when we're saying something that started 2,400 years ago. So the reason that we know this exact date, or not not like December 4th, 4,000 years ago, or 2,400 years ago, but we have a pretty exact on this is because... This comes from fresco drawings that were found on the island of Greece, on an island of Greece called Crete. So that that would have been a really exciting fresco to find. I mean, if you're looking at like everyday life, and all of a sudden you find a fresco, which this one actually depicted young people of Crete doing somersaults over charging bulls. That seems pretty extreme and fantastic. All right, and so. Even the same period over in Egypt, there were hieroglyphs that showed contortionists and acrobatics creating a really familiar act called the Human Pyramid. Now, next week we're going to talk a little bit more about the Human Pyramid because this is something that Philip Astley built the modern circus around was this act. I'm going to try to find a image of this so that you would have a really good visual of this. So go to the show notes and I will try to put together as much as I can so you can see more of what I'm talking about. Um, there was also some other acts, which I don't want to describe just legal reasons. Please don't ever try anything like this. All I'll say is it involves swords and somersaults. I cannot imagine this was a good plan. So Philip Astley, who I just had talked about with the, um, the pyramid, the human pyramid, he was the father of the modern circus. And next week, I'm going to go way more into detail about him because he was pretty amazing. He's also credited to the rise of gymnastics in the 1760s. And he created this by combining things. And you'll find, as you kind of look around, some of the most amazing and interesting innovative things are when you combine two things that already exist. He combined uh, acrobatics and horseback riding. Definitely a brave way to go. And um, he shows that, you know, with the Egyptian pyramid, which was really how he built his entire empire, that you can really find great ideas just by studying what's been done before and giving it a new spin and your own viewpoint on it. Okay, so one of the big things that became really popular in the golden age of the circus, which was pretty much started in the 1880s, and people argue ended right around, well, some people say it, ended, it started to decline around the 1950s, other people give it to the 60s or 70s, but really the golden age of the circus was, you know, 1880s was so great for the circus because there was um, none of the things that you think of when you think about how you're going to entertain yourself. There was not, there certainly was no iPads, there was no TV and there was really no radio. So when the circus came to town, everything shut down. The entire town would close everything up and it was a community event and everyone would go because this was entertainment that they would be talking about for the next year until the circus came back. So the big, really popular thing were called leapers and they became supremely popular because a performer would generally run to a springboard and uh, leap. <laughs> and the um, they would create different ways to make this interesting, from air somersaults to leaping over things. And I will end this podcast with my favorite idea, and I wish I had been there to see it, but there was an act where a leaper did a double somersault over a row of elephants. Now, I think that just sort of has that particular je ne sais quoi, 
wonderful moment of wow. I mean, how would your jaw not drop watching that? All right, that is it for this week. That is your little mini history on the start of acrobatics and a lot of starts of gymnastics. So any of you who are taking gymnastics lessons, please feel free to bring this to the attention of your teachers. Kind of a fun thing to talk about, but I don't think you should ask for the elephants for your next um, meet. I think the elephants would be a little bit much. All right, um, be really nice to us on iTunes. If you want to do something really special and kind for us, just go to iTunes. We are a very, very new podcast. Um, we did take a hiatus to revamp and retool things. So from this point forward, we're going to be going in seasons. So there might be an occasional episode of something that just caught my interest, but most of the time we're going to be sticking with a particular topic this season is going to be the history of the circus. So you're going to learn about the history of lion tamers. You're going to learn about the history of clowns. You are going to learn about the ultimate cute, adorable love story that has ever happened in the history of the world. And it happened at a circus with a misbehaving horse and a cavalryman and a very brave equestrian lady. So this will be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to delving into all the research. Um, please make sure you share us. Uh, tell your teachers about us. If you are homeschooling, please tell your other friends who are homeschooling and parents who are listening. If you could share us with any of your Facebook groups, that would be so appreciated. All right, I will see you next week when we are going to talk about the father of the modern circus, Philip Astley. Thank you so much and see you then.